so to start off in four man, I'm just gonna take it off. The first game of the day in four man, game of the day Saturday fours or five. Sigwitha versus Swoosh, top five teams going at it. This is the defending champs, the number one team. Let's just call it what it is. Sigwitha has the best team in four man. Four man, I honestly believe it. And um, and it's gonna be a Swoosh team that loves four man. And, and, and that's all we play. And that's all we play. And it's gonna be. It's gonna come down to. I'm not gonna pick a winner, because I think it's gonna be that close of a game. And it's gonna come down to the rushers, um, seeing who they rush. If it's Joan playing quarterback, who's far back in the gun, or if it's Ba playing quarterback, who likes to move around, be under center. Um, I think it comes down to rushers. If it's Pablo or TJ on whatever side it is, I think it comes down to them. Definitely. And I think it goes back and forth. And I think you could pick a winner. I yeah. mean, I'm not going to pick one just because I think some sort of sick with it, swish and 305 and ESS all go two and one. So I don't know who's going to win and which one, but um, I'm just going to leave that one open-ended. I gr Back and forth. You know what? We're, so we're going to do something really quick. You guys, between this, if you guys can predict the winner and the exact score, I will bring a couple goodies from Gaspar Nutrition, as you guys can see. Oh, no, you guys can't see. I'm wearing their hoodie. Um, I, I'll bring a couple goodies. So, you know, a couple of nice little free giveaways, stuff like that. If you guys can, can predict the exact score and the winner of this game. As well as for any championship game, if you guys can predict the winner and the exact score. Or if you have someone different. You have somebody different. It doesn't have True. to be ours. It doesn't have to be ours. If you, got, if you guys can predict the four-man pro and the five-man pro, I will bring a couple of goodies free of charge. I'll bring it. It'll be a great thing, you guys. Nice little contest giveaway. So write down in the comment section below who you guys think are going to be taking these divisions. It should be very interesting. But I'm going to pick a winner. I'm not going to shy away from this one. I think we said sick when it takes it in fives. Yep. I think I think Swoosh takes it in fours just because it's it's what we play down here. We don't deviate from it at all. You know, in Jacksonville, they do have a couple five-man tournaments more than they have them down here. But I think four-man swoosh, they've been on point. They've been winning tournaments. They've been killing the game. I think that I think that momentum carries over. I think it's a, I, I think I say an eight-point game. I'm not going to say give an exact score. I think it's eight points at least. Okay. Um, next, swoosh again, Battle of Miami. This has been what? The semis one time in the championship game and another. In another tournament. Yeah. And so we got... The P they ran not the Miami tournaments that they signed up to. Um, 305 won two of them. And then ESS, I mean, excuse me, Swoosh won two of them. Swoosh won Halloween Havoc and Battle. And 305 won Turkey Bowl and Santa Bowl. Yes. So, guys, 305 versus Swoosh. These teams know each other very, very well. These games get a little, little heated to say the least. Um, but, like I said, these guys have been playing flag for years and years and years but these are kind of two new teams if you really think about it in the, uh, in, in the, in the sense that revamped revamped, revamped. Yeah. and you know we have Beaky playing quarterback his first big tournament playing quarterback we'll see how he does I mean it could go either way I think you know with his team I think that play, offense works though it does it works for I mean it works for them it works for them Beaky knows what he's good at and what he's not good at and he takes advantage of it you know he likes to get the ball in his hands in the sense that he's going to give you a handoff and he's going to get a nice little pitch back where he can either throw or run. And it all depends on, I think, the X factor, like it was in the last game, is Pablo. Yep. I think it's going to be Pablo the rusher. If he can give pressure to Biki like he has before in the past, I think it's going to be a big issue. Um, he's fast enough to keep up with him. Yeah. Very, very fast. Yeah. Um, Another back and forth game. Yeah, another one. I mean, the time they played, what? It was decided by less than a point or a touchdown or something like that? Yeah, it's, all, it's, all, it's always by one score. And to highlight this, guys, it's swooshes back-to-back. -back. So they, they play right after each other. They play back-to-back -back games. I think... Through I think it's another one that... Sorry, cut you off. But yeah. it's, it's another one that's back and forth. Definitely. Just um, either side can win the game. Either side can win the game. No. And now that I look back on it, I, I'm going to take Sigwith in the first game, just so that, that way I have my memory fresh. I stick with in the first game, I'll take Swish in this one. Okay. So that puts, that puts Swish at 1-1. One one. I'm going to take 3-0-5 okay. in this one. They're still 1-1. One one. Yep. Swish is still 1-1. One one. But I think it's going to take, like, the Sigwith game is going to take a lot of out of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, playing back-to-back, 
is very, very hard, especially for at least a rusher. Yep. In these tournaments, you're going balls to the walls every single play. For all you rushers that know, it's it's intense. Um, so I think 305 takes this one. I don't think it's going to be – I think it's a medium scoring game. I think, you know, it's a three or four score game. But I think 305 takes it. And this could be a potentially another playoff game. Yep. Later down the road, I, I could see this easily being a playoff game right now. Um, next up, we have ESS versus Looney Tunes out of Texas. One of three ESS games that we have highlighted for Forest. We do. We have all three games for full play yeah. highlighted. I think, you know, ESS has, I would say. They're not shying down from God. They're not. They're not. They, they're here to prove it that they, you know, they're here to play, that they are not scared of anything, that they don't go to these easy tournaments. That, no, and I think, I think they take a win here. I do, too. I think, you know. By a lot. I think they win by three touchdowns. Yeah, I think they, at least they br- they bring the momentum over from five man early in the morning to yep. four man, and I think Lulu eats when you take that one person off and you have Lulu more on one on ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got thirty five thirteen ESS. Lulu's a very very hard person to cover. At. I like that. Yeah, thirty five thirteen. I can go with that. I can easily yep. go with that. Um, that's an easy game to call, but we yeah. just want to highlight it just because it's two great teams. But I think Florida versus Texas. Yeah. It's, you know, it's a big rivalry. Now, another great on. game from Miami here. ESS versus 305. A, a Santa Bowl matchup. And I'm going to have the same outcome. I got 305 in a shootout here. You don't th- you don't think the, that a pass tournament was a fluke? I think 305 takes this one, puts them at 101, puts ESS at 101. And um, I think that... Um, I think that the biggest thing here is the fact that 305 gets going, and after the first game, they get going, and Biggie just warms up, and with those monsters on the outside, like Austin and Eric, it's going to be hard to cover, and if that defense could give them one stop, I think they're in good shape here, and that they've seen it before. They know the formula to win, so I think very, I like 305. True. I like 305 here. Yeah, guys. Um, I like them, too. I think 305 takes this. I think it's a very, very close game. The last game that they played was a very close game. It came down to the last play of the game. It was very controversial. You could call it in. You could call it out. Who knows? But 305 did take it at the end of the day. Um, I do think they take this one. I think Beaky's a little warmed up. I think he gets the ball rolling. I think he gets into his groove, and I think he does win this game. I think, I would say, I'm going to say by at least two scores. I'll say a touchdown. You say a touchdown? Yeah. I say by at least eight. Two uh, I got 27-21. I'm not going to give any of that score. I think at least eight. Because it could, it could either be a very defensive game or it could be a very explosive game. It can go either way. Um, last game of the night, we have Freaks versus Multi. I highlight this because I find it very, very interesting because I want to see how the Texas team can translate into four men. Obviously, Eric is very, very good. He knows exactly what he's doing. Um, but four men is not his game. I agree with you, but I don't think it matters here. I like Monty. I like Ralph. I think he's been doing it for such a long time. His kids are even doing it for a long time at this point, yeah. playing with him. He at a high level. Yeah, yeah, At a high level. Been but I don't think it matters. Him. I think Freaks wins by two touchdowns. Two touchdowns? At least. I think if they can't stop it, if they can't stop Ralph's offense, it's going to be a long day. I think they win by... I'm going to give two predictions. Eh, no, I'm not going to give two predictions. I'm not going to be back and forth like that. Um, I do free. I do think Freaks wins, but I wouldn't be surprised if Multi pulls an upset. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if they pulled the upset. Um, just their offense is very, very tricky. They like, just like any Florida team. Four men's our game. Yeah. Four but I think everybody, everybody in Florida calls stuff differently. They do. I mean, I think the person that runs the most interesting offense is either some variation of Mark. Willie, Eddie, the, people, the quarterbacks like to really involve themselves more than anything else. And that's what Ralph does before anybody else. Like, he started the whole quarterback running game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, did, he started the whole handoff. He back to himself. Exactly. Yeah. He wants the ball in his hands at all times. He wants to be able to dictate the, the pace of the game. Yep. Definitely. Definitely. But I do have free tweeting this, but I wouldn't be surprised if Multi does take this. Um, which leads us into Monday playoffs. It's going to be a very long day after five-man playoffs going straight into 
the last game of pool play which we have highlighted is Freaks versus ESS. This is going to be one hell of a game. I think they have a nice little crowd to watch this game. Um, Rematch. Oh boy. Five man championship. Five man championship. That is 100% right. And I think this goes straight from the five man championship straight into this game. It does. It does. It carries right over because I don't think there's any breaks like there were on Sunday. Um, you celebrate, get your picture, and you're right back out. Do you think ESS stays a little happy drunk from their win and, you know, kind of like... No, I got ESS. You have ESS in this one? Yep. It's like you said, like, this is what we play down here. This is very true. I mean, this is what we play down here. This is what they're... Not good at, but I think ESS is very good at five man. But I, I think, like I said earlier, I think ESS goes two and one. I think the game they drop us to three or five. And I think this game, they continue that. I think they're on a high note from five minutes. And they keep on firing. I can see that. I can see that. Um, I think Eric, for this game, has a chip on his shoulder from the last game. Um, I do think it's going to be a very high-scoring game just because they're going to be slinging it, just wanting to, you know, blow out the other team. So I think it's going to be a very offensive game when it comes to this. I think it comes down to extra points. And I take, I'm going to take ESS 28, 26. 20, we'll go with that. I think. 20, 26. So you're saying ESS goes, for, ESS, you got ESS or Freaks? I, I didn't hear I you. have ESS. So Freaks goes for two and misses? Yes. Okay. That makes sense though. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Which leads us into playoffs. I think for four men, they are... Ten teams. 18 total, ten teams make it. I think there's a little bit more. I think there's 20, actually. But I think I know only ten teams make it. Yeah. I know in between 18 to 21, I think ten teams make it. And then 22 to 24 is 12. Yeah, that's right. Then 24 to 28 is 14. And then 28 plus, I think, is 16. 16 or 32 plus. I know it's around there. Yeah. But I know for this one, ten teams make it. Yes, correct. Um, you want to do a particular order in our top 10, or... I'll just list it. I think it's sick with it. ESS, Freaks, Swoosh, 305, Wet and Dirty, Ducks, Florida Mains, Sportsmania, WC Dogs. 10, ten teams. Agreed. I think Agreed. that's exact 10. I think that's a very good prediction of the top 10 teams. Um, so, I'm going to say the one seed sick with it, the two is ESS, the three is Freaks, and I'm going to give Swoosh or 305 the Four five by point difference will give me swoosh. I get I take three or five in the in the four spot. Either way, I think they do play each other in the playoffs in the first round. I think is that if that's how it's set up. I think how are they gonna do it? First two. Get so a it's high? so yeah. It'll be one versus two. Well, they could do a one two. They could do the seven and eight play and then the nine ten play. That's how they did it last year. So seven and eight a, play, play nine. Play yeah, for a playing game. So we'll just do it that way. Yeah. So Sportsmania versus WC Dogs. I got Sportsmania, and then you you got WC Dogs versus Sportsmania. Yeah, no. I just think that's Eddie's game. It is. Format. It is. It is. It really is. And you know, I'm guessing WC Dogs is from California. Yep. That's I don't. Five man. I, I don't. It's think, all five yeah, man. it's all five man, seven man, eight man, nine man contact. Um, I don't think they have four man over there. Um, but yeah, I think this is Eddie's game. I think. I don't think they have a good five-man tournament. I think he has a chip on his shoulder, so he really wants to prove himself in four-man. Yep. And I think he goes balls to the walls, like how Eddie always does, and I think he takes this this game in the first playoff game. So I do have Sportsmania by at least two scores for this game. Um, next we have, what would be the next matchup? Florida Maid versus Ducks. Florida Maid versus... Two Tampa teams. Mm. If, depending on who Ducks has. I'm going to take Ducks here. Yeah, uh, I think Ducks wins it. Dep I mean, depending on who they have. Um, I think they have that person. Yeah, I think if Mark shows up, yeah. I think Mark shows up. I think if you give Mark that ball and you give him in a handoff. And four man's help you feel, too. You're in trouble. Yeah. You are in trouble if you give Mark a And handoff. maybe, and who knows, dude, like in Vegas, Rat and Duke played with played with. Yeah, Ducks. you never know. You never know if they, you know, they make that little five-hour trip. Like yeah. I said, it's not that far Duck away. Duck shows up with five people the first day and then adds Mark, Duke, AD. That's... <laughs> that'd be crazy. Um, But, 
I do have Ducks in this. I do think they pull out the W to move on to the next round. Um, sorry, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and look up the bracket just because I'm kind of curious how they have it set up. That way we're not talking. Yeah. Exactly. So just so we have exactly how it's going to play out. 19 teams. Seven ten. Yeah, so exactly. So seven. So, yeah. So seven ten eight nine. Yeah. Seven ten eight nine. Yeah. So seven. Okay. So that actually changes things. So I think Ducks beats uh, WC Dogs. Yes. And then Sports Manias beat Florida Made. Yes. And then that would mean that Ducks plays ESS in the first round, and Sports Mania plays Sick with it, if I'm correct. The one would play the nine. Yes, correct. All right, so now I got it. All right, so now we'll jump right straight into it because I already gave why, why I think Ducks will beat Florida Maine, so I think they'll beat WC Dogs, and I think Sports Maine beats Florida Maine. Agreed. Um, same reason why WC Dogs, Florida Maine. Yes, they play in Tampa. I think Eddie has a big game. So the first game, stick with it versus Sports Mania. This is upset alert right here. Thanks for, you think Eddie takes it out? I think Eddie has a big game. I think Eddie knows how to play against Vogel. I was going to say that. I think Eddie I knows think how to play against Bobo. Yes. Someone he plays with off, who's part sports mania, you could say. Brought to Vegas. He, he, he talks yeah. often. And also went to Vegas with them. Yeah. Yeah. I think Eddie knows exactly how to play against them. And this them. could be an upsetter, but I'm not picking it. I'm picking stick with it. You pick stick with it? By two touchdowns. I think that defense that he has is just not enough. I don't, I don't know. It. So you got droppy drop, droppy drop, and Eddie. With no rusher. Yeah, that's rough. I think if they had a rusher, it'd be different. Me too. I think it'd be, they, it allows them to cover for less time. Exactly. I think that if they had a so, rusher. So, because of that, I'm going to take sick with it. Yeah, I think Eddie doesn't have enough tools in his arsenal for this game. I th I, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take sick with it. So now, ESS. Especially with the team that we think that sick with it's taking. Right. So, ESS versus Ducks. Another good game. Another good game. Depend and that's the thing. It's. We're not going to know until Monday. But we're going to say it. Yes, and I, I like ESS regardless. I do too. I think if Mark shows up, that gives ESS more of a drive to play, actually, because they beat him in five championship in Vegas. That's true. So knowing Lulu and how competitive he is, I know they're going to want another shot at him, and I know Throngi's going to want another shot. So I got ESS here again, dude. I like them. I like that team. I like them in both fours and fives, and I think they have a good tournament in both. I got them again. I think if ESS gets one stops, they win. I agree. I think that offense is very good. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. It's just, We're yeah. wood now. Yeah. If if ESS defense can get one stop, they win. Um. So I'm gonna take ESS. I think they do get that one stop. I think you know they step up to the plate and they get it. So I think I'm I'm gonna take ESS. Freaks versus wet and dirty. Freaks. Yeah, I got freaks too. I got freaks. I think freaks comes heavily loaded. Especially with, you know, Florida guys. And what we're going to assume TB is with them on this day. I, no, yeah. I think he makes the drive up too as well Me with too. them. So having TB is a huge, huge benefit, obviously. So I do think, um, I'd have freaks on this. I think wet and dirty just, especially this late in the tournament. It's going to get to them. It's, yeah, man, that's, that's, it's a long turn. Even though it's only two days, but who knows it's a how many bodies tournament. they have too? Like yeah. that's a big thing. Like people don't realize how many bodies you really need for this. Tip. I mean, for grown-ups, at least people make fun of us because we take fourteen or fifteen people. An army, essentially, we take fourteen people, and then yeah, but, we're taking fourteen and both. Yeah. But we take we we make it. You know, we we we're, we're able to last because of that. And we're three deep in our position. Yeah, we're very deep. But we're not gonna talk about that. We're not talking about our team. Right. Um, just it all depends on how many people you guys have. I mean. They have, but so going back to that, Swoosh versus three hundred five, four versus five. Mm. I picked three hundred five the first time, and I think it's another great game yeah. because all their games are great, always. And always comes out to one possession, so I think it's gonna be a one possession game. And this is a matchup I really want to see later in the day, and it's gonna be more intense. But I think since it's the first round, Tennessee beat him last year. I believe in the first round of the playoffs. Who? I'm sorry. Dynasty beat 305 last year. Now, yes, there was no Peaky. No Peaky. Munchie uh, was hurt. Munchie was hurt. 
they did. Um, Hector was rushing and playing center full time. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I still got Swish. Because I think they've lost 3 5 twice at this point. And I think it's time to get their revenge. You think so? And I think they want that, and I think they do it. I have 3 5 in the first game. I didn't play 4 man pro. Time out. I'm cut this part. Mm. I, I honestly just think they're going to win because I think Joe Hunt's throwing. And because 305 has said before that they're more scared of Joe Hunt throwing than Joe Hunt. Um, all right, guys. So I think I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Swoosh on this. I think it comes down to one couple plays. I think it comes down to Pablo as well. I think he comes fresher than he does from his previous encounter with 305 um, Sunday, just because they don't have to play that back to back. Yep. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I think there is a game break in between playoffs, but he doesn't have to play that back to back, so he's gonna be able to rush Biggie fresh. So, I do think, uh, yeah, I take Swoosh in this. I take Swoosh moving on. Um, this leads us to the final four, right? No? Yep. Yeah, so now we got four. Sig with it versus Sw Swoosh and ESS versus Freaks. A rematch of full play for both games. Should be fun. Damn. So I'm going to take Swoosh here and stick with it. You th in four, man? All right, so hear me out. You think they Last beat year out they the, lost. They beat they out lost, the champs? They lost to stick with Dynasty had a trip to the finals. To um, Dynasty had a trip to the finals to play when and dirty. Lewis was called out when everyone said he was in. And on video, it even shows he's in. I think that that's, taste is still in their mouth. And I'm taking Swish here in the upset. Dude, I finally need to pick an upset. And I got ESS versus Freaks on the sole fact that they play four man. And I know Eric is going to be very hurt that he lost twice to ESS in playoffs both times. Not hurt, but he's going to have a little sour taste in himself. But um, I like ESS, dude. I like him a lot in this tournament. And I got him so playing. I think it's an all Miami final. I think, it's, I think it's an all Miami final. ESS versus Swish. Now it could easily be sick with it versus freaks. It could literally be you can interchange all four into the championship. Uh, we game. even put three or five. You get interchange it too. Yeah, it's. it's I crazy. think those five are the scrim at one through five, for, and wet and dirty is a good six. Okay. I think a five man's a little different. Five man, yeah, five man's really different. But I think those are my top five. But I think I got yeah with the way this bracket, our bracket tip played out. Got ESS versus Swish. That's sweet. That that that's sick with it. I think it's a. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that too. Screw it. I'm gonna go Swish ESS. I think it's an all Miami final. I think, I think just us playing four men. Yeah. Since and it's gonna be the first time they square up against each other. Yeah, they have never played each other in the tournament or anything like that with the new teams and stuff like that. And I don't think it's two teams that have bad blood either. I think it's two teams that, like Lulu, gets along with everybody. I th yeah, I Baca think it's, plays I think, with BSS. I, I think it's mutual respect. Yep, and I know Johan and Tronky get along. Yeah, it's mutual respect between both teams. I think it's gonna be a very clean, clean game. A very. Um, I think it's gonna be the best. It's not gonna be hostile. It's gonna be a great least. game. Yeah, I think it's gonna be. A I good think the game. best team we see all the best game we see all tournament. If the five man championship happens, of course, the ESS versus Freaks five man championship is gonna be mm -hmm. insane. But I honestly think that Swish versus three hundred five in our in our semis, or our first round, I think, and then, dude, Sigwitha versus Swish on the first day. That's crazy. That's a good ass game to That's start off the day. But game. going back to it, ESS versus Swish. I'm not gonna dug it. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. I mean, this is bias. You, I'm gonna say you, this is bias. You, you took. You ducked five man, so you better not duck four man. I'm. Gonna, I'm. Gonna, I'm. Gonna, I'm. Gonna, this is bias, but uh, I got Swish. Here's Swish. I like him. I think they went in a complete shootout with the SS. 40, 41, 41, 42 into OT. And I think the final score heading into OT is 41, 41. I think ESS runs deep threat. Misses it with Schuler throwing the ball. And then uh, Johan calls uh, 
back end zone read to Lewis. Lewis reads it, stems out, and he hits it for the game for, for the world championship. I think. I think Swoosh takes it. I think it's a very high scoring game. I don't think it goes into overtime. I think Swoosh gets the last drive, scores, and goes for two for the win. I like the actual little drop on the top. So Go I think uh, something we should do for each division, not to with, like overshadow anybody else, but um, so let's say MVP for both divisions, offensive player for both divisions, defensive player for both divisions, sleeper for both divisions, Ooh, okay. and X Factor amongst both divisions, player-wise. So let's start X Factor. Who do you think is the X Factor in five man? I'm gonna say five man and four man. Okay. If he shows up, Mark. Okay, that's fair. Um, I can see that. Um, five man. My X Factor is gonna be Kevin. So as you guys can see, this is gonna be a very very interesting tournament. It's gonna be a great tournament. It's gonna be a huge tournament. And we'll see how things play out. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be very cool to see how, what teams are playing, who's playing with who. Because, you know, this is kind of like where people kind of, you know, kind of see how they set the tone for the rest of the year. Especially with everything that FS, FF3CT has planned out for. It's going to be an awesome, awesome flag year. Honestly. Yeah, man. It's going to be a very, very fun year with the tournaments they have coming out and how they have. They just announced today, Tampa, how it's set up, double elimination. It's going to be a great, it's going to be interesting how this plays out this next couple of couple of tournaments but guys thank you very much for watching honestly you know we enjoy talking flag we love doing this um we want to give you guys a nice little fun preview to talk about for the next couple of days leading up to the tournament so guys don't forget to like comment subscribe thank you guys so much for everything honestly this has been an amazing journey for us um just especially for me doing this youtube i know this is only my second video but guys i tell you i have so much fun doing this honestly um don't forget to check out Link in the bio, Gaspar Nutrition, guys. Anything for your nutritional needs, supplementation, protein, pre-workout, BCAAs, anything you guys need. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. My Instagram link is also in the bio. So, guys, see you in Panama City. Peace.